Uh, here to break down those findings, we call on Dan Gaynor, Vice President of Business and Culture at the Media Research Center. Dan, it's positively Christmassy there with the stocking hanging behind you. Uh, give us give us the top five naughty attacks on business courtesy of the leftist press. Well, I start at the top because the, the worst one is one that's happening right now, and it's even tied to Christmas. It may have started out with some legitimate concerns post Ferguson and after Eric Garner, but the left's goal of shut it down is targeting businesses, uh, businessmen and women, and employees. What they do, they want to target malls, they want to target small businesses. On Small Business Saturday, this is my favorite, they, they actually went to Georgetown and to a couple of malls with the intent of shutting down businesses. That's the exact opposite thing you're supposed to do on Small Business Saturday. You're supposed to patronize them. Dan, what do you think the most shocking attacks so far have been? Well, I mean, I, I think that, you know, we'd have to actually jump down the list a little bit uh, to go to, well, I mean, Grist calling one of the a former CEO frightening and sociopathic, the attacks on Uber. It's really funny that the, the left, the, the grassroots of the left loves Uber, but the leadership, because they're so in the, so in the tank for, uh, you know, the unions, they hate Uber. So it's, it's this push me, pull you uh, war against capitalism there. And then there's Katie Couric, which she, she landed number three on our list because of her Fed Up movie. Katie Couric, you know, we've always said she's not a she's not a journalist; she's an activist. So she finally admits when it comes to to food, she's an activist. Uh, and so she actually compared sugar to cocaine. I, it just it just it gets weirder and weirder. Well, you you mentioned one media personality, but as media organizations or outlets, is there any one network, any one newspaper, any one website that proffered the worst attacks on business this past year? Well, I mean, I I think MSNBC and M the NBC world is always bad. But since we're in the mood to bash Rolling Stone, let's go for Rolling Stone. <laughs> Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone went after Chevron. Chevron's been fighting this ridiculous lawsuit in Ecuador, where Ecuador sued Chevron, which you because Chevron bought Texaco many years ago. Uh, Texaco had drilled for oil in, in Ecuador, had cleaned up its oil locations, and had left with the full knowledge and approval of the government of Ecuador. But governments in the third world change, and the new government wanted to sue them. They got an American lawyer uh, involved, and they got the American media involved. And so it started out with a bad 60 Minutes report uh, several years back. But Rolling Stone did a report even after uh, you know Chevron won a huge victory in the U.S., saying that the, you know, that the uh, decision in Ecuador had been corrupt and overturning it. So it can't, so that the money can't be given in this country, and then Rolling Stone still paints Chevron as bad guys. I, you know, it's not just the the UVA scandal that that shows Rolling Stone to be completely awful when it comes to journalism. Dan, very quickly, you've got 20 seconds left on the clock. What, if any, would you say is the common thread between the kinds of businesses being submitted to these attacks? I would say it's all businesses. If you run a business in America, you need to understand that both the left and journalism hate it. They hate free markets. They hate free businesses. They want, they want to go to war with you. Well, wow. so Calvin Coolidge said the business of America is business, but today's modern leftist press says, if you're in business, we want to drive you out of business. Something they're teaching, I guess, social justice to comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. And if you're in business, I guess you're comfortable. Dan Gator, Media Research Center, thanks so much. Hour two of our program coming up.